Hello guys and gals, my name is IT and you are watching my first impressions on the iPad mini video and as you can see in front of us we have the brand new black and slate iPad mini 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi only version which cost me around 470 euros and the meaning of course is to a little bit uh, examine if the uh, this uh, device was worth the money or if it was completely crap. Now uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing video of this iPad mini and the smart cover and the Apple earpods go ahead and watch them I'll put uh, links in the description description below and uh, also go ahead and watch the full review once it's up on my channel. This is just the first impressions Based on uh, around two days of use, I got this two days ago, and I've been using it for two days now. And just got a little general idea what's good and what's bad about it, and I want to present them to you so that you guys can uh, maybe decide if you want to buy this if you haven't got that already. But let's go show the pros for this uh, for this iPad Mini. First pro thing is it's small, it's thin. And it's light. So compared to the real or the big iPad, uh, this is really, really small. Look at this. It's it's thin. It's really small. You can almost grip it with one hand, as you can see. And it's super thin, so super light. You almost don't even uh, feel that you you are carrying around an iPad of uh, full size. As usual, this is really neat, good-looking Apple design. Uh, we have the Apple logo back there. We It's thin, it's small, and it's really easy to just hold on. and It feels good in your hand, so that's a really good thing that improved on, on the old iPad. The other thing is that the display is very responsive. You don't really need a lot of touches and multi-gestures to you know, just get what you want to done, and every little pinch and stuff makes you uh, or makes the page uh, easy to find. Let's actually go ahead and let me go just and search for Google here, just to show you a little bit how easy it is to just zoom in and out and use all kind of multi gestures. And how responsive the touchscreen actually is. Uh, it's, it's, it's just, it works without any problems, and that's really good. See? This is all just wonderful. Um, yeah, so that's the second good thing. The third good thing is that the sound quality of this device is really good, uh, mostly thanks to the uh, Two speakers that it has on the on this side you won't see them but it has two speakers here uh, in between this lightning adapter port and that gives it a richer sound than the other iPads which only have one speaker and the display is also really good uh, for a small device like this the pixel density is the same uh, I mean yeah the same as on the iPad but because it's a smaller screen it looks sharper so that's a really good thing. I really cannot see, I mean most people say that because this has no retina display they will see pixels, but I have been looking at this display very close and I really cannot see, the, see the, the, the pixels that people are talking about, so I don't really understand what they're talking about. I mean this uh, display is super good. I see no problem whatsoever with this display. Uh, then again I haven't seen a retina display so I really can't compare them but for me, this is a, just a good display. I mean, I can read everything crystal clear without any problem. Then we have, of course, uh, lots of apps. That's also good. There are about 250,000 apps for the iPad that are also compatible with the iPad mini. So that's a good thing. That uh, has always been good for Apple. We also have uh, really fast access to all kinds of important places. For example, the only thing you need to do if you want to visit the iPad, you open up the iPad, you click here, and you're on Facebook. Voila. 
And the same thing goes for Twitter. You just tap the Twitter icon and you are in Twitter in no time. That's just perfect. So it's fast access to all the most important uh, uh, apps and stuff you need. That's all you need to do. You need nothing more. Um, yeah, and then we have, well, it runs very smoothly. I mean, I have had no lags whatsoever. I've tried uh, to play videos. I've tried to play different games, such as these games I have here. Fruit Ninja, Draw, something. And it all works very well. Let's just do a short test here. Come on. Yeah, so, I mean, it's all worked very good. Gonna do a short test here. So, of course, I mean this is not the graphically most uh, demanding game. I haven't tested with uh, more graphically demanding games, but I mean this runs smoothly. Oh damn, no problem. So, I mean, yeah, it's great. Uh, and then we have. Uh, it's easy to set up. I just uh, when I set up this uh, device, I just open it, and it immediately told me what I had to do. Put the uh, Wi-Fi connections and passwords and stuff like that. And it's really easy to set up and you're almost immediately ready to go. That's good. This also has really good battery life. I'm, I've uh, had this... I haven't... Actually, I've only needed to, to charge this one time. And I've used this for two days now. And it's still 37% left of the battery. So this should have up to nine hours of battery life, which is really good. Uh, you can do a lot of things, watch a lot of videos, and play a lot of games, and listen to a lot of music without needing to worry about the battery running running out. And then we have, of course, good compatibility. If you have an iPhone, a Mac, or an iPad, or an iPod, this has really good compatibility with all the other products you have. So that's a good thing with having Apple products. Uh, the internet browser is really fast. You just Go here. Of course, this has also to do with your internet connection, but it loads the pages really fast, and you really don't have to wait a long. So that's good because I sometimes have bad patience when downloading some different pages. But with this, it loads the pages fast, and you're you're in the page in no time. Um, and yeah, the interface is user friendly. I mean, you have all the apps you need on these pages, and it works well. It it clearly tells you where you need to go and what you need to do. And it's really, really user-friendly. No matter if you have used an iPad or an Apple device before or not. So it should be easy for you to use anyway. Um, and yeah. Another pro thing is, of course, the smart cover. Which I've used with this. I mean, there's really no problem with it. You just attach it on the iPad. Wrong side, I think. And uh, no, that's wrong side. There we go. Touch on the iPad. It locks on, and you can easily just uh, fold it and put it standing like so, and it really worked without any problem. And that's great. Now we do have a few cons also, uh, not as much as the pros, which is good, of course. Uh, but there are a few things that, on initial use, haven't felt so good. And one thing is the speakers. Um, it's good that they have two speakers, so it, it kind of creates a stereo sound, but they should have placed speakers, one on this side and one on the other side. And that way they could have created surround sound, which is a lot better. Now it kind of feels strange, you have rich stereo sound coming out only to one end, but not from this other end, and that kind of feels bad. So. I really have, would have wished they have uh, they had put the uh, speakers on or one speaker on each side, so the the sound could be more more stereo. Uh, I've also noticed that all the touches haven't been quite as responsive as I hoped, especially up here in the corners. The touches I had I have had um, to touch many times before it has actually uh, reacted to the touch, but of course it may only be me uh, and not the iOS. I have no idea about that. The other thing that I think is bad, that I know is bad with other iPads, is it, this has no flash, and a lot of programs use flash on the internet. So without any flash uh, connectivity, uh, this lacks a little bit of the greatness of a normal computer. Um, and I've also had a little problem with the smart cover, uh, because uh, 
It hasn't worked as well in writing mode, you know, when you have to put it standing like this, so that you can write. Uh, it has been floppy and it's it fell down many times, so again, it may be only me, but it may also be that this design isn't as good to use in that mode. Then again, I don't use it too much, so. And another little thing that's also a con is that this shows fingerprints really easily. Uh, again, it really isn't a big deal for me, it's not game breaking or something, but it just shows fingerprints, which I find really irritating. But, uh, you know, whatever, it really doesn't matter. But that's basically all the pros and cons uh, I've noticed with this uh, device so far. Um, I mean, I've been using it for two days, I haven't tested all the things I could do with it, and I promise to return with a full review later, and I will do that. Uh, I'm going to use this for a few weeks and really test it out uh, properly. I will try to run heavy games and heavy movies and videos and music and all that stuff. And try to do a lot of different stuff with it to get really a good picture of what this thing is capable of. And then return with a little deeper analysis of the good and the bad sides of this iPad Mini. But so far I can say that we have a more positive than negative sides with it. And this has definitely worth the 470 euros for the 32 gigabyte version it's definitely worth the money if you haven't got an ipad mini buy it if you have ipad 1 or ipad 2 but you don't want to upgrade to the 3 or the retina buy this one if you have an ipad 3 or an ipad retina i really don't see a reason why you would like to upgrade this but you could get an, an additional ipad for for really cheap by buying an ipad mini so yeah, so the good things basically are the size and the design, the camera and all other stuff is really, really good. And then the, really the bad sides only are this is no flash and speakers should be divided on one si on both sides. But hey, overall it's a magical experience because when you watch movies or pictures from this, it really feels like you would be in the world a little bit holding it in your hand. It's a magical experience to do stuff from this, and I really love this device. I'm glad that I got it. Anyway, this was all for now. Uh, a uh, first impressions video, which I hope you helped you choosing if you want an iPad mini or not. Um, yeah, I want to thank you for watching, and as always, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. And I'll be back with more iPad videos in the future. Peace and try for species. See ya.